from WFSB. This is an Eyewitness News update. Here's a look at your top stories. I'm Aaron Connolly. And I'm Mark Zinni. An arrest is made after a shooting and crash in West Hartford. Police say 22 year old Darnell Barnes turned himself in. He's accused of shooting a man and leading police on a manhunt across state lines on Friday. Police say it started because of a love triangle involving a woman who's a student at the University of St. Joseph. Police have arrested the man accused of shooting two people at O'Reilly Auto Parts Sunday night on the Berlin Turnpike. 24-year-old Sherrod Hackett was taken into custody after running from police. They believe he walked into the Newington store, then shot a man and woman multiple times. Both victims are in the hospital. A Meriden student and her parents now suing the high school after claiming the Wilcox Technical High School has not provided her with a teacher since the start of the school year. According to a letter, hundreds of students were being forced to sit in a room with a sub. The sub does not teach math, so students have to do work online. Channel 3 did reach out to the CT Technical Education and Career System. In a statement, they said this lawsuit is misguided and we plan to defend against this case. We are your election authority for extended coverage of campaign 2022. We'll have reporters covering the key races and analysts breaking things down. Join us Tuesday night at 7 p.m. for an hour-long special. And once the polls close, tune in from 8 to 11 on WFSB Plus for continuous streaming coverage of all the local races. All right, Mother Nature will not be throwing any curveballs our way for getting to and from your polling location. It will be a dry and bright day, but it's going to finally feel like November. We'll start the day with temperatures uh, within a few degrees of 40 by the afternoon, warm into the low and mid 50s. A little bit breezy, that wind subsides uh, Tuesday night, and that will set the stage for a frosty start to our Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, again, highs in the mid 50s. Then we trend milder by Thursday. High temperatures back in the mid 60s, perhaps even warmer as we close out the week Friday despite increasing cloud cover. We are tracking a cold front that will also tie, tie into some tropical moisture uh, from Nicole that's going to be streaming up in our direction, bringing wind and rain to the state late Friday into Saturday. Then Sunday, trending cooler and breezy, also dry and bright. Highs next week only in the 40s Monday.